Hello sa inyong lahat! Welcome to a Small Turbo YouTube channel. So ngayon, pag-usapan natin ang Module 9 ng Grade 7 Math. Ito ay tungkol sa scientific notations and solving problems involving real numbers. So, ang learning competency na ating dapat uh, itako ngayon is, or are, kasi dalawa to, writes numbers in scientific notation and vice versa. Second, represent real life situations and solve problems involving real numbers. Alright, so the objectives of these lessons are First, identify the difference between a number expressed in scientific notation and vice versa Second, convert the numbers in scientific notation form and vice versa Third is perform operations with scientific notations Fourth, solve problems involving real-life situations. Fifth is demonstrate patience and accuracy in doing the test. So in this module, you will learn the process of writing a very large or very small numbers in scientific notation using powers of 10. So always remember, if you have 10 to the power of 0 or any number uh, having the power of 0 is just equal to 1 then 10 to the power of 1 is just equal to 10 then 10 to the power, power of 2 that means 10 times 10 that's equal to 100 then 10 to the power of 3 that means 10 times 10 100 times 10 that's 1000 okay so for the answers of this part what I know it's just located in the back portion of your module and don't you worry, I will show to you later in the end part of this uh, tutorial. Okay. So here we have the symbol and the prefix or the prefix with its symbol. Um, these symbols are commonly used especially in signs. In uh for the units of the different um, units, yes. So, for the giga, the symbol is G. That means billion. Okay, so this is already 1 billion. So, this is 10 to the power of how many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 10 to the power of 9. Then, for mega... The symbol is capital M, that means million. Then, it's 10 to the power of 6. There are 6 zeros. For kilo, the symbol is letter K, it's thousand. Okay, it's 10 to the power of 3. Then, hecto, H, it's hundred. It's 10 to the power of 2. Then, deca, the symbol is DA, that's 10. Just the exponent is or the power of 10 is 1 so if it's power of 1 usually they want to they want oh yeah so that's the notation then for the one there's no prefix there's no symbol okay that's it then for desi the symbol is small letter d that's 10 so, point 0.1, that's 10 to the power of negative 1. Centi, C, 100. Okay, that's 10 to the power of negative 2. Then, M is 1,000. Then, this micro is million. Then, this nano is billion. Okay. Then, just count the number of zeros. That's the power here. For example, there are three zeros here. So, there's 10 to the power of negative 3. 6 zeros here, 10 to the power of negative 6, and so on. Alright. In here, so we have here the real life situations. The approximate number of stars that is visible in our galaxy is about 200 billion, or this is the decimal notation. So, how can we 
express this in scientific notation. So all you have to do then is, so you are going to count how many zeros. Okay, so anyway, we are going to discuss in detail in the succeeding um, discussion. So starting in here, because if you have like this, the decimal point should be here. So let's express this in scientific notation. So for the scientific notation, okay, let's start counting the zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we are going to put the decimal point here. So we're going to have 2 times 10 to the power of how many zeros again? 11. Okay, so 10 to the power of 11. So that's the scientific notation. In here, it's 1.49 times 10 to the power of how many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, not really zeros, but how many places before it arrives to that 1.49. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 10 to the power of 8. Then here, it's 9.5. Times 10 to the power of 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 10 to the power of 12. Alright. So let's try to see if it's correct. Okay. So we got all the answers correct. So we got the answers correctly. So why is it that in scientific notation, the number, the significant here should be 2, here should be 1.49, here should be 9.5? What is the rule in expressing into scientific notation? Okay, so the rule is, okay, here. For example, we're going to focus on, we're going to focus in this example. Okay, so we are going to focus in this example. So, this would be our M. Excuse me po, may tumawid sa ating likuran. <laughs> So, this would be our M. Okay. We're just going to write M. Then, times 10 to the power of K. Okay. So, our K he is 12. The 12. So, it says in the rule that M should be greater than or equal to 1. Okay. Again, it says greater than or equal to 1. M should be greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. So, your M could be 1 up to 9.9. .9. It could not be 10. And K is any integer. So, you say any integer, it could be negative or positive whole number. It should be a whole number, of course. Positive or negative. Okay? So, again, the M here is the coefficient and or the significant. So, they are just the same. Coefficient or the significant. Alright, let's try to answer this. Number one. Example one. Alright, so... 6,000. We are going to express 6,000 into its scientific notation. So, let's put our answer here. So, again, our coefficient or significant should be greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10. So, 6 could be 
then 6 times 10 to the power of so again the decimal point of any whole number is understood to be nasa iyang pinaka rightmost portion so let's just move it to 1 2 okay 1 2 3 so we're going to put here so we have now the 6 times 10 to the power of 3 that's the that's the scientific notation of letter A. The rest, there are, ex uh, you may do it on your own. Now you may ask, how about if it's a decimal number? So again, the ruling is the coefficient or the significance should be greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10. So make it like that so you're going to move the zero or the decimal point so that it will become greater than one greater than or equal to one but less than ten so one two three four five so you should have uh, you should move five places to the right to arrive at greater than or equal to one but less than ten so it should be it would be 6.42 then so you'll have 6.42 times 10 to the power of negative 5 this time since it's the reverse process reverse direction it will also uh, be given or it will be reflect in the sign of your exponent then for example it's 5.4 of course it's already uh, the significant that we need so no need to move the decimal point just add times 10 to the power of 0 that means we did not move anymore okay now let's proceed to from scientific notation to decimal notation so all you have to do then is you're going to if it's positive you're going to move to the right so if it's 5 the exponent of 10 is 5 you're going to move 5 places to the right so 5.1 so of course the decimal point is here you're going to move five places from here so one two three four five and you will have the of course the decimal point is in here now so understood you're going to copy everything it's 510,000 this time okay if it's negative of course it's would it would be on the opposite direction so 1.015 you're going to move eight places to the left instead of to the right so like this one two three four five six seven eight and it would be point zero that would be the answer this time that would be your final answer expressing scientific notation to decimal notation just take note of the uh, symbol of your exponent now let's have addition and subtraction with scientific notation so this is very easy all you have to do is make sure the make sure the exponents or their exponents are equal so if they're not equal of course you have to express so for example this one four this one is three so you need to add one for it to become four so that they could, would be the same so we have to move this one and we'll have add one and it's already 0.5 this time times 10 to the power of 4 and you can freely add afterwards so add the, both the coefficient then just copy the common or the same this time the same naman na yung exponent just copy okay all you have to do is you are going to combine their coefficients for subtraction the same process okay just do the operation which is subtraction for multiplication okay you're going to multiply their coefficients then of course add no need that their exponents should be the same no need there's no need just add their exponents and you'll have their answer for division you're going to divide their coefficients and for the exponents they are going you are going to subtract of course numerator minus denominator and you may refer to okay I'll show you the answer key before it will end you may just pause this okay you may pause this if you want to focus on the answers 
Okay, and thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you 